Good afternoon. I'm Pastor Nancy DiStefano coming to you with my Wednesday words of encouragement. I had a conversation with one of my sons recently where he gave me a surprisingly wise uh, saying or piece of advice. He said, life is not about getting the most of what you want. It's about making the most out of what you get. I thought that was really good, but as I thought about it, I thought, what do you do when what you get in life is really bad? I, I studied a little, and I found that the Bible has some excellent advice for us. In Luke chapter 13, Jesus tells a story, a parable, about the barren fig tree. In this story, there is a man who owns a vineyard. He planted a tree, and when it was mature, he went and tried to find fruit on the tree. And in going to look for it, he found the tree had none. And he was upset. He said, for three years, I've come looking for fruit on this fig tree, and still I find none. Cut it down. Why should it be wasting the soil. And the gardener pleaded with him. He said, Sir, let it alone for one more year until I dig around it and I put manure on it. If it bears fruit next year, well and good, but if not, cut it down. You should know that fig trees produce fruit twice a year. So that meant the owner of the land had been cheated of six harvests. It's understandable that he was upset. But it's also wonderful that the gardener was willing to work and try to see that this tree had its last chance. As we read this parable, we find that Jesus, while telling people that God has the ability to destroy he is also offering a message of hope, of hope and of mercy. God is offering mercy to those who are having a really hard time in life, but encouraging them that if they are patient in working through the manure of life, that it can sometimes bear good fruit. Things like illnesses, maybe a hard apprenticeship, schooling, study, or maybe living with critical family members or co-workers. All those things, if we're patient, can possibly eventually help us to produce a good harvest. Let God be your gardener. Let him teach you how to be patient, how to be tolerant. Let him take the reins of your life and guide you. Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him, and he will direct your path. May you have a good day.